this thing out of the box and uh, this is your pump here it's got your pressure gauge your hose with your adapter tip that goes on to these reservoir adapters onto here you have to match up the right adapter to the type of coolant reservoir tank that you're, you're gonna put it on so that it matches up now we're gonna go do that bring it on come on all right we're gonna remove the reservoir cap if you notice the writing on this reservoir cap here, that stuff actually means things. You need to read that. We're going to have to pressurize this at 15 PSI to get the correct pressure to find out if there's any leaks. And now how you do that is you take your reservoir adapter cap, you put it on the tank. You screw it on like you would the regular cap. It's fairly simple. Then you take the pump with your hose and attach it to a little nipple here, like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to hand pump this up to about 15 PSI. Or not about, but exactly 15 PSI. As you can see, it's kind of a, you know, a little bit of a process here, but we'll get it up there. Pump in it. Pump up the jams. Almost there. All right, as you can see, it's at 15 PSI. Now you're gonna wanna let that sit there for about three minutes to see and watch the dial to see if the pressure drops at all. If it drops, it's an indication that you have a leak in your coolant system, which can cause overheating and all kinds of uh, bad problems for your engine. Okay, so we've waited a lot of three minutes. I really didn't, I'm just gonna cut and edit that post. But, you're supposed to wait three minutes. If this pressure has dropped, like I said before, that will indicate that you have a leak somewhere in your coolant system. What you do to remove this, you make, you press this button here to release the pressure. You want to zero that baby out completely. You do not want to remove the cap with the pressure still in the reservoir tank because that could cause injury and hurt somebody fly off. Might look cool, but it, it's not. So now that the pressure's off, we're going to remove the pump, remove the cap. And this is the key step to this whole process. Put your cap back on the reservoir tank. That right there is how you perform a pressure test on a coolant system. It's been fun, guys. And remember, safety's no accident. You have a good day.